Look out, evil! Here comes Action Jones! World-renowned private eye, first-class world spy, ladies' man on any night. But a respectful ladies' man acceptable for a postmodern 2000s audience. All criminals run when they hear him coming. Watch out, crime! Here comes Action Jones! Welcome back to another installment of The Escapades of Action Jones. We previously left our heroes, world-renowned gumshoe Action Jones and his trusty junior detective Tommy, just as they entered the grotto of Mittalalalin, Fairy Glacier, Switzerland, in search of the legendary ancient stalactite of the grotto of Mittalalalin, Fairy Glacier, Switzerland, an artifact said by many archaeologists to be engraved with the original designs used to construct the great Egyptian pyramids in Giza. I'm not so sure about this, Mr. Jones. Oh, you need to relax, Tommy. You can't go through life expecting everything to be booby-trapped and heavily guarded by fascist thugs. Most henchmen today don't lean towards one specific political ideology. Big government money in henching nowadays. Now, hand me that select type. You got it, Action. Huh. What is it, Mr. Jones? It's, uh, it's just a picture of a triangle. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Well, too much sense, Tommy. I don't like the smell of it. Damn it, Tommy! Did you forget to set your alarm to remind me about turning off the timers for the TNT again? What TNT? Shh! Did you hear that? What were you saying about not everything being guarded by fascist henchmen? They weren't guarding this place. They entered after in pursuit. So, I'm still correct. Again. A plus, using my keen skills of deduction and the information I've taken in from all seven of my bodily senses, I've deduced that the explosion did not come from the same entrance we did. Plus, we can see the entrance from here. Uh, semantics. Besides, by my calculations, they won't arrive in this chamber of the glacier for at least another... Entfrieren! Amerikaners ist schwein! No. Hände in der Luft! Schnell! The Nazis are here! If that's the thing, kid. They never left. Hände in der Luft! What's he saying? Do, do you understand what he's saying? No idea, Tommy. Normally I would just ignore the subtitles like any good American would do. But this is an audio drama. Now here, take the stalactite, kid. I have a plan. Okie dokie action. Now what's the- Run for it, kid. Every world famous detective for himself. Every time. Every single time. Get this African shot. Fire! All right then. They keep firing those guns in here! Not if we do first, kid. Yeah! Wait, uh... What? We're gonna cause our own avalanche and tap those Adolf-loving bastards. Now, I want you to pull out your honorary junior detective elephant gun that I gave you for Diwali and start to repeatedly shoot it against the wall as you're running closely, but not too closely, behind me. Now that's for my sake. I don't think this is a good idea, Action. I vote we do not do it. Well, I vote we do do it. So that makes it one to one, and we agreed ties go to me. Fiddlesticks. Yes, just like that. Harder, harder, faster, longer, and, and deeper, deeper. As deep as you go if you and your second cousin got a little too drunk at Aunt Miriam's birthday last year. We're almost at the cave exit. That does not sound like an elephant gun shooting at the walls of a glacier in an attempt to purposely cause an avalanche so that the Nazis get trapped in this glacier before they accidentally cause an avalanche first, thusly trapping us inside this glacier with them. Now jump! Barely escaping with their lives, our heroes look upon the vast beauty of the grotto of Mittalalalin, Fairy Glacier, Switzerland. The case of the long-lost ancient stalactite of the grotto of Mittalalalin, Fairy Glacier, Switzerland. Seemingly now fucking closed, and the Nazi scum once again thwarted, our heroes can finally take a moment to rest. Ah, that was a close one. <laughs> Those Nazis are not seeing anymore. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, then I'll explain it to you. See, every joke is funnier when you explain it. Action? Yes, young Timothy. Uh, I don't think this is a stalactite, and now that I've been looking at this up close, I don't think that's a triangle. Preposterous, my junior detective. 
What makes you think- Interrupting his cocksure mentor, the junior detective quickly grabs the artifact. With a look of terror on his face, he slowly flips it over. Much to Action Jones' dismay, it would appear Tommy is right. Holy crap, Tommy. You're right this one time. It's not the ancient stalactite of the Grotto of Middle Fairy Glacier, Switzerland. It's the moderately recent stalagmite of the Grotto of Middle Fairy Glacier, Switzerland. And that's no triangle drawing for a pyramid blueprints. It's a nabla. A nabla? Oh no. Oh no. What should we do, Action? Just flip it back over. What about the client? You'll give it to them in a display case. Only sadists and commies take items out of display cases. Why have to give it to them? In case they figure it out, Tom Tom. I don't want to be anywhere near there when that happens. You mean if, not when, right? Y yeah, sure. Now, I think you should start walking while I sit in the tent the Nazis set up over there out of the cold. The nearest town is easily a three-hour walk, and I set the sled dogs free before we went in. Though the private detective and his unpaid trainee have closed the door on this case, the two are unknowingly about to be pulled into a mystery so mysterious that our writers should have probably used a synonym for the word mysterious so as not to sound like crappy or lazy writers. But I digress. And now, a word from our sponsors. Do you like waffles? How about money? How about a waffle cart that you can bank at? That's right, it's Todd Rigby's Savings and Waffle Cart. Magical savings with savory cravings. We now return to our regularly scheduled program.